Hello and welcome to our course here on the Mavic 2 Enterprise series and Matrice 300 RTK. Both of them use the DJI Pilot app and if you're not sure what that is or how to use it exactly, no problem because that's exactly part of what we'll be covering in this course. My name is Grant Hostka. I'm a solutions engineer with DJI North America Enterprise team. Just a little bit about me here so you have some info before we go into all of these instructional videos. Went to Indiana State and graduated with a degree in unmanned systems. Worked in the utility field, completing inspections on a lot of transmission and distribution systems. Also was able to film the aerial photography for the fittest documentary. And I've had a lot of great opportunities here at DJI, including being a part of, as you can see there in the bottom right, some of our promotional videos for introducing the Matrice 300 series. In addition to that, at DJI, I support a lot of our dealers and customers, attempt to provide technical support to them in a variety of areas, along with working with our R&D team on new firmware, feature requests, and communicating uh, needs of our customers overall. In this course here, just to give you an overview, first we're gonna be covering the Mavic 2 Enterprise series, and then going into the Matrice 300 RTK with the Zenmuse H20 and H20T. We'll take a high level overview of the Mavic 2 Enterprise first, then go into the DJI Pilot app, talk about what it is, what you need to know before flying, and then all of the different functions you'll see in flight with the DJI Pilot app and that specific system. And then we'll kind of build on that with the M300 RTK where we talk about additional settings that you will see and then additional flight functions that are available with the system. The Mavic 2 Enterprise kind of being our baseline enterprise system and the Matrice 300 RTK and the H20T, the new flagship systems. Definitely be more content to come based on updates and questions that may arise, but hopefully this is a really good start to really understand what's going on with the pilot app, what the different settings and items you are that you see, and how it works with some of the different drones. Prerequisites for this course, obviously always great to learn, so really no required prerequisites, but it's good to have a basic understanding of UAS and how they work starting the motors, how to fly manually. You can see a graphic there on the bottom. So if that's a bit foreign to you, it might be good to do some basic UAS review. The Mavic Mini and the Tello are some great DJI UAS to really learn the basics and practice before hopping into the enterprise systems. But once again, uh, just some information there. We'll certainly try to put out a more UAS overview, uh, basics content as well. Uh, to help before moving into this course. But look forward to working with you over these next videos here, kind of giving an introduction to the system and how it works. And that's about all for this video.